Let me know. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Okay. <clears throat> a stop at Maker Fair is not complete unless you visit Joseph Joe Prusa. We're going to do it again. Okay. I know. Grab it. Ready? Uh -huh. A visit to Maker Fair is not complete unless you stop by and visit Joseph Joe Prusa here. Hey, Joseph. How you doing, man? I'm fine. I'm a bit tired and jet lagged, but it's been a blast here. Uh, Maker Fair seems like the perfect event for you because you like to make stuff and you just made this. Can you tell us about this? So uh, this is the evolution of the well-known i3 and I called it Mark II and we made a bigger heated bed. Yeah, I made better Z-axis. Basically I tweaked all the components uh, on the original kit I was selling and this is it. This is the first one actually which is in the States. And because the ones we shipped and are shipping are still not in the States, so this is the U.S. premiere. Awesome. Uh, I, I think that something like this is needed because I heard it has mesh bed leveling. Can you explain that? So the, the problem with bigger heated beds and, well, the bigger beds in general is that they are not always uh, exactly flat. You, you always get that like, little tiny, I don't know, tenth of a millimeter or two tenths of a millimeter off, so your first layer isn't perfect all the time. So uh, what we did, we, we had to rewrite the whole part of Marlin uh, because the normal normal bed, bed level, uh, normal. It's, it's tough, I know. Normal leveling is uh, just uh, compensating for the tilt, but not for the mesh. And so uh, we have nine points, and uh, the induction probe probes all the points. We had to make special points uh, on the PCB because, well, it doesn't register on the normal normal pattern for heating. So there are just circles where the, the uh, probe probes it. Then you take the three points and you put a curve through them. So you get much smoother surface. And we approximate 15 points. So we have 15 by 15 points mesh, which is 3D mesh. And it uses this uh, 3D model inside the, the Arduino. Oh, shit. Uh, inside the Arduino to, to compensate for all these things. That's amazing. Well, well, we are surprised it works, but it works great. Uh, so this Plunderbird speed is printed at 200 microns, and it just shows how the new Z-axis is awesome. And also, uh, if you look at the bottom, this first layer is also quite pornographic. It's perfect. Yes, that's what we aim for, right? <laughs> okay. Is it available now for purchase? Uh, it, is, it is available right now for pre-order, and the kits are $6.99. We had to um, do it a bit pricier, but I still think it's a fair price. Or if you buy, if you want to buy a fully built one, it's $8.99. Oh, that's still not bad for a fully built original Prusa machine, I, I don't think. Well, I know. We try to make it as cost-effective as possible, but always it's, it's always pleasant to meet people who think that clones are much better at better price. And it's always sometimes, well, it's sometimes sad. I like hugs. Thanks, man. <laughs> High five. Okay, final question. Final question. Okay. Final question. What, and I know it's tough because you've printed all sorts of things. What is, or do you have a favorite model to print? Well, it's always the Prusa parts. But my favorite model, the Benchy. Really? 3D Benchy, yeah, it's nice. It prints nice on this printer. Do you have one currently printed to show me? I don't have one. Oh. Will you print that next after this tank? Uh, well, we are using the Windows 10 slicer, so I'm not sure how it, well it will turn out. And, well, that's also another new thing with the Mark II. Uh, Microsoft contacted me, and they are quite cool guys. And uh, so we, uh, the, this printer is fully supported by Windows 10 Slicer when they push the next update. So that's quite interesting. I think it's the first wrap wrap which is supported by it out with, with plug and play. So you've, you've got a USB ID. It knows when you plug this in. Yeah, so it's, it's quite cool. If you, if you plug the printer into a computer, it will show you its original Prusa i3 from me, and it will show you its serial number. And if it's Windows 10 machine, it will download the profile, and you can print on it. So. Right, let's see how many people will use it. I bet a few will. That's pretty awesome. Hey, thank you for your time, Joseph. I really appreciate it. I know you're busy. We'll let you get back to it, but let's seal the interview with a high five. High five.